Previously on the RTG. You got three different versions EA to give us. There is one! Striker! Oh, center back. Smalling! There you go. No way. He's gonna score that with his head. Literally, Rhino charge from the midfield, Mirza Ozil. What a finish. Hello and welcome back to the Old Scar TG. And in that last episode, what you would have seen is a few players being sold. One person in particular, which was the honorable mentions Kunde, that was fine enough to get us rank three, but I wanted a little bit more, you know? Maybe someone similar to a Rudiger. And have we been able to find that replacement? You'll see. Thumbs up, subscribe, make sure you click that bell so you're not missing when the videos do go on the channel. And enjoy this episode today. Some weird things have been happening. Let's go. I feel like it is the equivalent of the 50k pack, but it's not really a real 50k pack. Whatever it is, we're going to open it against the tide. Maybe someone that we can use for our starting 11. We've got a lot of positions open right now. That is fantastic. Left wing. Coutinho. That's a solid start. Is this tradable? What the hell is going on here? Is someone taking over the game? He started again. Uh oh, boys. It's stick drift. One, two, eight. What? How much was that? 123,000 coins. I think that's a fair price. Medium high work rate, six foot four, mad speed. We literally have found someone as quick as Kunde, or slightly slower, but you're not going to notice too much in game. What are we saying for the cheapest 88? Oh, whoa. 44,000? That seems good. Oh, but are you ready? We've got some nice players to test out. Foot champs on a Sunday. Well, it feels weird because I usually get my games done by then. I should have changed this kit though. But game one with our new signings, what are we facing? Uh, Chalabar. We've got Mendy. That's not a good version of him. That really wasn't a good version. This is literally 10 times better. Yeah, I know. But I don't want to buy Semedo because I... Oh, well, well done, Vieira. I don't want to buy Semedo because I already know that he's going to be... Look at that run. Oh, give me that. Sometimes Donnarumma, Mendy would, would help you out. And I felt like Van der Sar was conceding a lot. Jesus, man. That is an unbelievable save. Fair play. Mirza Ozil turning up for us. But what a save a minute ago. I'm just waiting for icon moments, the players, so I can trade up towards them or something. Mirza! Over your head. And again. <laughs> Was there any doubt about Johan Cruyff? No? Okay. Yep, I agree. No doubt about this card. What's this guy running? Jesus that we enjoyed for a bit. That foot freeze version was definitely the best one because he had four star weak foot. But other than that, I didn't really notice him scoring any goals or making any like key passes. He was just fast and annoying to play against. But I haven't tried him yet. Ozil. Even with his right, Mirza Ozil, I'm really enjoying this card. I can't recommend him enough. And for this price, you don't lose anything. He looks, it, the way he's playing, it's like he's not interested in defending. And that's not good considering he's a defender. Right, is that handball? Mirza Ozil, zoom into this man right now. Who is it? Mirza Ozil, what a player. All right, is it third game of the night? Yes, indeed. I don't think there is. I think it'd be a little bit too good. What a pass. Oh, that is a little bit dirty. Hang on. Oh, that's well played. Good goal, that. Oh, you can say that again. We're looking like the best the best team in a relegation fight right now. Oh! Eto! Samuelito with that left. Oh, Mbappe, Neymar. The standards, but dangerous. Mmm, Ozil. Hold, hold off. Eto, 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 Eto! We should have been in with Eto then. And instead, I've conceded. Hold him off. A little bit of a weird touch. Nicely done. It's Ozil. It's Mirza. 
Mercer always scoring my goals. In fact, I think he's the top scorer right now. Going off with the last like seven games, six, seven games, he's been the one banging all of them in. If he is 500 though, maybe I can bring him in for a new striker this weekend instead of using Eto. Making progress. Might not be losing that much when I come to sell. Or maybe I'll fall in love with him. <sighs> yes. Ozil. Maybe I'll fall in love with the Ginola though. Oh, that's not a good idea to be doing that in the 83rd minute to get caught and concede. You know, I don't know what goes through my mind sometimes. And Dicker, that's really weird. That should have been a stand tackle. There wasn't an anim animation for that. Just cross it in, cross it in, cross it in. What a pass! What? <laughs> no! Oh my god, Eto! It was like perfectly weighted for. Or chest. That's more like it. He was just messing about before. Don't you worry, he's got it under control. Get used out of him. Damn, is this volleyball? I don't know. What is this? I don't know how that's managed to find the back of the net. So you would have seen those brand new signings that we went for earlier in today's episode. But the two players we did go for, it was a headliners version of Trapping Goal, who is unbelievable. The reliability, the reflex saves for that price alone, he is 100% worth it. Then we were also looking to find a replacement for the honorable mentions Kunde. And it was the future stars and Dicker that we purchased. And I've got to say he was fine, but maybe a little sluggish in some areas where he was jockeying and defending. And I don't believe it's that much of an upgrade on what we have. I'm still trying my very best to find a Rudiger version 2. And it seems to be very, very difficult because that card right now is performing like no other. No one is as good as Rudiger and it's pretty much near impossible. But I had a couple of extra games to play towards this tournament that EA brought out. Got some funny highlights and then I want to speak about Icon Swaps. He's 480. Someone said 450. <laughs> oh my god, Trap. Hey, this goalkeeper, you know, I can't recommend him enough. He has been very good for me, but that was a bit a bit of a spillage. Oh. Samuel Eto, that was some strike, though. <laughs> oh, still got it. Oh, mate, what were we seeing? In that last game, right, Trap came running out, and it was like butterfingers going everywhere. And I've somehow hit the post three times. Looks like a twisted knee from down here. And you could just see him trying out. I thought I was going to go back. Back down that way. Good play. Nicely done. He thought to start off with, I think he thought I was going to go down the right hand side. Everything was overlapping down there. Nope. We turned back inside in Cancelo. Good goal. And he's on 5 Kim in. He's playing a little bit more possession style now around the edge of the box. And he's offside. Two goals. Wrap this up. It's coming. When they press high up the field, it's coming. The Pass it. There it is. Game over. So I didn't get anything from those packs that you gain from tallying up the wins towards that new objective, but it's fine. It's good fun, though, to be playing your five games every day. I like it. And at the end of it, we will have an ultimate pack very, very soon. But one thing that I really wanted to speak about with you right now is icon swaps. It's been 100% confirmed by EA themselves. It's coming out at 6 p.m., and basically what I wanted to suggest to you as to what I'm going to be taking are the fodder packs because they usually split this promo up into two parts and you've got to wait over a month to even compete for the next tokens and you get the idea. By that time, you've already improved your side and some of the stuff that you would have probably claimed you can gain anyway by buying them off the market. So what I'm personally going to take is all of the fodder packs to basically roll the dice twice. So if we go and pack a really nice road to the final or an icon from the fodder packs, but I guess you can't. Maybe you can pack some foot heroes. I don't think you can pack icons, but basically if we can get a road to the final, awesome, they get added to our team. If not, let's at least hope that we get some fodder so then we can go and get a mid or prime icon right now. I think that's pretty smart, don't, don't you? I might take all the fodder packs and then put it towards stuff that I can actively unlock right now instead of having to wait. 
because what's the point of waiting when we can gain a middle prime icon? And we're still looking for Cruyff. We're obviously looking for all of the primes as well that would be upgrades to our team. So that's what I'm personally going to take. Maybe let me know what you guys are going to get at 6 p.m. If you're watching the video by then, um, you would have seen everything available on the game. But in Dicker, we played for 14 matches. And I think for that price, he is, he is worth it but just didn't really feel as good as maybe these stats are suggesting in-game. I just 100% prefer Rudiger. And good looking at stats, like there shouldn't really be too much in it, but Rudiger just somehow, he is that good. And like I mentioned, Trap is fantastic. So if there's a way that I could keep Trap in the team, why not, you know, maybe go for a German center back or see tonight if we can really grind icon swaps, get all of the tokens needed for the fodder packs, and then have like a little session of doing the icon SBC and then upgrading our team from the icon. So maybe tomorrow's episode is going to be packed for the content, which is going to be, yeah, fantastic. And Urzel is still killing it for me right now. He's sick, really is worth doing. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you boys tomorrow. Should be a jam packed episode. Thumbs up if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you're new. And yeah, see you uh, probably half two. Half two when the videos go live. Take care, team out, peace.